Good morning. The last time you were here, we started a new project and we were making something called whimsical trees. So our trees are not like typical looking trees. They're kind of curvy and crooked and um, very interesting looking. So today we are going to start with the coloring part of the project. And as a review, we talked about the complementary colors last time and we also talked about something called the analogous colors. So the complementary colors are the colors that are directly across from each other on the color wheel. That would be the Viking colors, so purple and yellow, the bears colors, the blue and the orange, and then like Christmas colors, red and green. The analogous colors are a group of like three or four colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. And rather than me going through all of those different groups of colors, because there's a lot of them, I want you to refer to the color wheel. I'll put it in this video again, but also the color wheel that I have posted in Canvas. And look at that so that you can have help choosing the colors that you want to use to make your painting. I am going to do the demonstration, the painting demonstration, in just a second. Okay, so as you can see, I have already sharpied and done my erasing on this tree. And for the sake of the demonstration, <clears throat> I am just going to leave it at this. Obviously, you will sharpie the rest of it. But we're going to take a look at this color wheel, which is also on Canvas for you to look at in case you need some help. So we have been learning about analogous colors and we've been learning about complementary colors. So the complementary colors would be the colors directly across from each other on the color wheel. So yellow and purple, blue and orange and red and green, okay? Analogous colors, um, I can't just name them all, but they're colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So three or four colors that are next to each other. So any of these yellows or yellow oranges or orange or yellows to the greens to the blues, or the blues into the greens, or the blues into the purples, the reds into the purples, or the reds into the oranges, okay? So look at your example um, color wheel to kind of figure out which three or four colors you can use to color your Christmas tree which means that more than likely you're going to kind of be in this area here, assuming that you want your tree to be a greenish color, okay? So you could add some yellows or you could add some blues along with your greens, okay? Um, for the ornaments and the decorations, we'll use those complementary colors. So the colors that are across from each other on the color wheel, okay? Um, what I am going to do is have you use watercolor paints and <clears throat> mix the colors just a little within the tree to use or um, make the tree color using those analogous colors. So I just realized I forgot to get my paint. I will get it and finish the painting part of the demonstration. Okay, so I have my paints and I want to do my, my um, tree. Um, I'm thinking with like the greens and the yellows rather than the greens and the blues. So um, I think what I'm going to do is actually start out with yellow and get a puddle in there and add that yellow in. wherever I have my tree showing through. So you would probably want to do like one section at a time rather than the whole tree because if the yellow paint dries, you're not going to really be able to blend the colors in. So I don't want the tree completely yellow anywhere. So I'm just kind of blending that green into the yellow. And then I'm going to try to make it a little darker over on this side. So we're kind of, we're showing value by going from dark 
to a little bit lighter to then the lightest green. Okay. And I might even want to add like a darker green or I'm going to see what this turquoise. Oh, I like how that looks. So I added some turquoise in. I'm not going to add a lot in, but just a little bit over here looks kind of cool. Okay. And I would go on and do the same thing in each of those other sections. Now, for my ornaments, I want to stick with complementary colors. So, oop, and I just realized that this should be tree here also. Okay. So maybe I want to use, oh, let's see. Maybe I want to use my orange and my blue in this section. And what I would suggest is that you wait till the green paint is dry. I, for the demonstration, I'm just going to continue painting and try to be really careful so that I don't mix my orange and my blue into my green. Okay, now maybe these up here are not just hollow in the middle, so maybe in that I want to do yellow. And on the outside, the complement would be purple. like that. So I would continue on until I am completely done. I apologize for the music. My son's class just came back on. So you guys, if you have any questions, let me know.